Here we have the two different forms that we can see a quadratic equation be written in. The first one we call general form and the second one we call vertex form. And from these forms, they both have the same letter A. So A is called our leading coefficient. And that leading coefficient lets us know what our graph is going to look like if that leading coefficient is greater than 0, meaning it's positive, then we're going to have a parabola that opens upwards. And in this case, what you see is that this point at the very bottom is the lowest point in the graph. So this is called our minimum. If A, that leading coefficient, is less than 0, meaning that it's negative, then our parabola is going to open downwards. And this is the highest point on the graph. So this is called our maximum. Both of these points are our vertex. So your vertex is your point that divides your graph in half. So here's the point that divides our graph in half. Half of our graph is on the left, half of our graph is on the right. And in this case, here is our vertex. Half of our graph is on the left, half of our graph is on the right. If our leading coefficient is positive, that vertex is going to be a minimum. It's going to be the lowest point on the graph. If our leading coefficient is negative, then our vertex is going to be a maximum. That vertex is going to be the highest point on our graph. And the way we find the coordinates of that vertex from vertex form is very easy. It's just h comma k. So remember that anything that's inside the parentheses, we take the opposite sign. So our coordinates for that vertex will be h comma k. If we have an equation that's in standard form, the original form, then the way we can find our vertex, the x value would be negative b divided by 2a. And then the y coordinate, we're going to substitute in negative b over 2a into our function to get the y coordinate. So for your particular, here we started off with 2x squared plus 8x plus 11. So if we're find, asked to find the minimum or the maximum value, the first thing we look at is our leading coefficient. And the leading coefficient is the number that's multiplied by the term with the highest exponent. So our leading coefficient is 2. So since our leading coefficient is positive, that lets us know our parabola opens upwards. And we're going to have a minimum value. And it's still the vertex. It's just the vertex in this case is a minimum. And we can find what that value is by using the formula x equals negative b divided by 2a. b is the coefficient of the linear term, so that's 8. a is the leading coefficient, which is 2. So we have negative 8 over 4. So the x value for our vertex is negative 2. In order to find the y value for that vertex, the actual minimum point, then we take this x value and plug it back into the original function. So 2 times negative 2 squared, 8 times negative 2 plus 11. Remember order of operations, so that becomes 4. And we're going to have 8 minus 16 plus 11, which is going to give us negative 8 plus 11, which is 3. So this is the actual minimum point, and that's where we have 3 here. And when do we receive that value? We receive it when x is negative 2.